Hello and welcome to the Today's Money Masters. I'm Jean-Paul Menu. The Today's Money Masters competition places three professional investors and a novice together, each provided with $500,000 to invest. The participants will invest in stocks, bonds, and collective investment schemes. They will share their strategies over a one-year period, at the end of which the top portfolio manager will get to keep 50% of his total earnings. Now let's continue with the Masters on this very exciting journey. But first, a word from our sponsors. Have you ever been interested in an IPO but didn't have the time to go in branch and submit all the documents? We've got a solution for that. With NCB Capital Markets Go IPO Portal, you can submit and track your IPO application from any of your favorite devices. No need to go in branch. No need to contact a wealth advisor. No extra fees. And it's accessible to both NCB and non-NCB clients for all our offers. So no excuses. Investing is easier with Go IPO. Visit www. GoIPO.JNCB.com or text GoIPO to 876-383-1729 and start investing today. Welcome back. On today's program, we are joined by Andre Yap, our professional from the Credit Union Fund Management Company Limited. Hi, Andre. How you do? Not too bad, enough. thank you. Good. Andre, Pan Jam Investment Trust is the most recent addition to your portfolio. Why did you make that investment and what do you believe will be the driving force behind it? All right. So before I break into the reason why I invested into Pan Jam, um, let me just give a little bit of background into the company. So the company is essentially what we call a holding company, an investment holding company, okay. where it holds investments. Um, primarily, it engages in investing in public and private companies. So the most known examples of these public companies would be like Sagicor, Jamaica Group, where it owns about 30% of the outstanding shares, okay. and JMB Jamaica Limited. Uh, well, JMB Group Jamaica Limited, where it owns about 5% of its outstanding shares. Okay. Sounds like a small amount, but it's actually the fourth largest shareholder in the company. Okay. So in terms of the private company that it's most known of being an investor in, it would be Chucker Adventure Tours Limited. So Chucker, the little adventure, well, not little, the adventure company that we know of in pretty much all over the island, mm -hmm. where you can go rafting, kayaking, you know, do the zip line and the thing that scares the crap out of me because I'm scared of heights. That's the most known um, private company that they're actually invested in. They own about 20% of the shares in that company. Okay. They also engage in the trading of securities for its own benefits, so equities and fixed income instruments. So it also invests on behalf of itself. Um, it also operates in the real estate sector. So it owns and operates real estate in, um, assets. So one, some of the more popular real estate locations where it actually has interest in or it owns outright would be Manor Park in Kingston 8. In New Kingston, it also has its own offices there on Notford Street, Notford Boulevard, mm -hmm. Notford Boulevard, correct. Mm -hmm. And as well, it would also have the CIBC head office on Notford Boulevard as well. So those are key real estate assets. Okay. In addition, you can look in terms of um, hospitality sector where it owns about a 22% stake in the Courtyard Marriott by Emancipation Park as well. Um, okay. So it not only owns real estate, real estate assets, it also develops and also constructs as well. So it's also wow. a key player in real estate. In fact, that's probably what it's most known for. That's the foundation of the business okay. for a lot of people in terms of what they know about Panjab. Right? So why did I invest in Panjab? Firstly, I invested because I thought the company had a very bright outlook looking forward. So I'll get into the drivers of that in a moment, which was your question. And the second reason I invested in Panjam is because through Panjam I can get exposure to other, uh, other areas of the economy, other sectors, mm -hmm. which I wouldn't necessarily be able to get to given the amount of cash that I had left to get meaningful exposure to it. So when I said mm. Panjam is invested in other companies, it's invested in other companies operating in tourism, in real estate, in financials, in the financial sector, in manufacturing, in cost consumer retail. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of exposure and that you're getting, a lot of built-in diversification right. that right. you can right. get. And all of these things I view favorably. Now, what informed my favorable outlook would have been my outlook on the economy as a whole. So I just said Panjam is invested all over the place, essentially. So you can't necessarily do a simple sector analysis. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at Panjam, you have to look at the entire economy because it has so many moving so parts, on, right. you might want to just look at the economy as a whole to see sure. how it works. And not just the local economy, you might want to look at the regional economy as well because it's not just a company that's isolated in Jamaica or whose fortunes are isolated in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. right? So when you look at things like interest rates, right? interest rates are trending down. 
now Pat Jam is invested in financial companies. So you may think of that and think, hmm, not necessarily a good thing that interest rates are trending down. It's invested in, in financial companies. However, when it's invested in other companies where it may be a subsidiary holder or maybe an associate holder, what works out for the company's benefit when interest rates are low is that these companies can then borrow from financial institutions to invest in the business, to okay. grow their business, which by extension benefits Panjab. So low interest rates help them in that regard. Okay. And in terms of the financial companies that they're invested in, these companies are diversified. They're no longer that actually vested in interest rate income. They have fee income, they have other forms of income which help to bolster their income statement. Particularly, you know, your JMB and your Sajiko which I spoke about. So that's, that's a nice thing for them. When we talk about unemployment rate going down as well, that's wonderful. I mean, unemployment right now, I think, is at 7.8% at the last reporting. Mm -hmm. You know, back in 2015, unemployment was at close to 15%. So mm. it's gone down almost 50%. When unemployment down, it lends itself to more consumer spending. Right? Right, right. So you have people who are spending more in Panjam businesses or associated companies, which benefits the bottom line as well. It hits the bottom line there. In terms of interest rates now, it also helps their actual investment portfolio. I won't get into the technicalities of it, but one of the major rules is that low interest rates help the performance of stocks, right? Okay. And we said, er, well, I said earlier that Panjam invests in equities, in listed equities. So with low interest rates helping the performance of stocks are driving the value of stocks up, but right? that helps drive their investment portfolio as well. Um, All right. So, so, okay. So, you're, so that answers the question about what's driving mm -hmm. the portfolio, why you're happy with it, well, with that investment. In terms of a uh, macro standpoint, if we look on it from a micro perspective, we see Panjam have things on the horizon which they themselves control. Um, they have real estate developments which are coming on board in the near future. Okay. Um, they have a waterfront hotel which is scheduled to be completed in 2021 in downtown Kingston. Downtown Kingston, right. right? They bought right. five acres of land in Montego Bay, Montego Bay Freeport which they are looking to develop. They haven't necessarily started yet. So all of these sing very well for the future. You know, it's a wonderful song sticking so to are, the musical theme. You are very bullish. Yes, I am very bullish on Panda. I'm hoping that you know, these things will translate into short-term gains which will benefit my portfolio. All right, very comprehensive answer. Thank you, Andre. Yeah, we'll have more with Andre after this break. Have you ever been interested in an IPO but didn't have the time to go in branch and submit all the documents? We've got a solution for that. With NCB Capital Markets Go IPO Portal, you can submit and track your IPO application from any of your favorite devices. No need to go in branch, no need to contact a wealth advisor, no extra fees. And it's accessible to both NCB and non-NCB clients for all our offers. So no excuses. Investing is easier with Go IPO. Visit www goipo.jncb.com or text goipo to 876-383-1729 and start investing today. The Money Masters Funds. It's all about real growth, safety and security of your assets. The Growth Fund gives higher returns for the investor more focused on growth. Money Masters Funds, providing growth and security, performance and financial peace of mind. We are CUFMC, Credit Union Fund Management Company. Trust. Trust matters, and you can believe in our reliability. Service. We give impeccable attention to your needs. Experience. Careful and prudent are part of our DNA. Know-how. After 70 years working exclusively for credit unions, now we're open to all investors. Go Grow stronger. CUFMC, Credit Union Fund Management Company. How we choose to invest our time today often has a propelling effect for what we gain tomorrow. It's like investing in shares. Mommy, is this a share? Yes, you know, she's right. It's similar to how shares work. Companies are publicly listed on the Jamaica stock market. These companies are divided into pieces and these pieces are what are called shares. The owners of these shares are called shareholders. Welcome back. We're speaking with Andre Yap from the Credit Union Fund Management Company Limited. Andre, based on your most recent portfolio, there's been a drop in its value. What would you attribute this decline to? I think 
if you look on it, all of the contestants or portfolios are actually down from the initial value. Um, the driving force behind all of our portfolios being down, in my opinion, is just that the market is down as a whole. I mean, if you look at the main market index, since the beginning of August to the end of September now, the market's down 2.7%. Okay. And a lot of us are actually skewed towards the main market, which is down about the same measure. Right. So the market being down, it kind of brings down everything in our portfolio as a result. Um, some of our stock picks may have been more adversely affected than others, um, where they have lost a bit of, lost more value than others. So there's that factor right there. Um, I also believe that we had a bit of a, uh, we had a great summer, quite frankly. The mm -hmm. market was actually very active over the summer. Um, there was a maturity of a GOJ bond, a Government of Jamaica bond, mm -hmm. which added a lot of liquidity to the market, which kind of um, was a catalyst to trading. It was like a shot in the arm, and trading activity increased because of that. So we had large investors with a lot of capital coming from this maturity saying, hey, we need a home for this money, and it went into the stock market. So we saw prices actually... Um, actually uh, increase as a result of that. So now that that's kind of over, we're kind of in this lull period here waiting for a catalyst for trading. Um, trading has somewhat declined um, since August to now. It's not really common for us to have a lull in the third quarter because normally what we'd have in the past is we'd have a lull in the summer. Right. By a lull, I mean, you know, a decline a in trading decline, activity. Sure. We'd have a pickup in the third quarter and then the fourth quarter would be somewhat neutral to up. So, you know, it's a bit of a, ch it's a change in dynamics for us and uh, something that we'll have to get used to and we'll have to um, try to, you know, overcome. Right. But for me personally, when I look at my portfolio and I look at the companies in my portfolio, I don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with the companies in my portfolio, why they should be down. I don't think it's a factor of market. I don't think that the, I bought them at a price where it was unreasonable based on the outlook of the companies, based on things that they have on their okay. horizon where I can say, oh, maybe I bought it at too high of a price. I think I paid a pretty fair price for yeah. most of them. Um, obviously, as an investor, you always want to get the lowest prices. If I could, could have gotten it at a lower price, sure, by all means, I'd have taken it. But, right. you know, it's hindsight. It's 2020. You can't really Monday morning quarterback. All I can do right now is look at the portfolio and say, okay, Panja, what do I think about it? What are the factors? Is it good? Is it bad? Where do I see it going in the future? Sagicor, same thing. You know, Cigna, same thing. All the companies in my portfolio. And I've done that. Believe me, that's one of the most important part of being a portfolio manager or managing a portfolio. It's to always quarter, Monday morning quarterback yourself. Mm -hmm. It's basically just looking back and saying, did I make the right, right choice or not? And it's to be completely sure. honest with you. If you're the foolishness, like I said, what I did with, Pan, with not Jamaica Tees, you just have to own it and say, out of foolishness right and figure out a way to get better right to make, and move you know. forward yeah good so uh you said this is an anomaly and normally it goes down in the summer comes back up at this period so yeah, are you that's are you thinking that you we might have a little bit of an uptick coming into the next couple of weeks and into fall i'm hoping that's the case i mean i know that september normally marks the month end for one of our larger corporate entities. So maybe they'll be selling into the market a little bit. Okay. You might see a bit more volume in it, but if they sell a lot, then you have a lot of volume which could drive prices down as well. So it's a bit of give and take. So we'll see. So it's up in the air. All right, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andre Yap. Thank you much. All right, that was Andre Yap giving us his financial thoughts this week. Join us again next week, same time, for the Masters competition as we meet some of the other participants. Follow the pros and one novice each week on the Masters competition. Listen and analyze the strategies with the Masters on RJR 94 FM Thursdays at 8.45 a.m. as they challenge each other to stay ahead. Also, look out for their portfolios in the Sunday Gleaner. The Masters competition is a product of Today's Money Limited, brought to you in partnership with NCB Capital Markets Limited, Money Masters Limited, Credit Union Fund Management Company Limited, and the Jamaica Stock Exchange. I'm Jean-Paul Menu. The Masters is another fine product from today's Money Limited. Yeah.